Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Jordan Martin with Martin Investment Group and Martin Stock Club. This video is going to be another daily watch. This. So for tomorrow, September 8th, what we're looking at is four, maybe five main stocks here. And then my watch list members are going to also get their daily watch list sent to them via email. Link for that's in the description. So uh, one of the ones I'm looking at is Wingstop. Wingstop is extremely overbought right now. We see it's had this huge run up. Um, I think it's off of that news they had with that chicken sandwich, but we see virtually no signs of stopping here. And we just hit this resistance level that can create this double top. All right. So if we start pushing back down through the 50% retracement of this candlestick here, right? And the way I look at this is I'll just use a fib retracement and I'll come lay it out. And I'll zoom in. It's easier to see. All right. But if we can break through about 136 on wing stop, then I'll look at going short and carrying that, that back down first to the low of this candle. And then, of course, being able to swing it all the way back down to the bottom of this level here, which is going to be 108. So that's a huge potential move. Um, even get some contracts far out the money, maybe two months out the money would be not a bad idea for this swing. I'm going to go ahead and set an alert for myself to trigger if we break 136 so I can look at going on short on wing stop. The next one's PXD. And that's going to be a revisit from yesterday where we're looking at the same setup, right? PXD came down. It did break through this support, which is what we're looking at the bounce for yesterday. But then it came and bounced here, which is completely fine, right? So we're going to respect that bounce as well, right? And we see... Let me go ahead and delete this line real quick. We see that that's also a previous trend line resistance that's turned into a trend line support. Okay. So same concept as yesterday. I'm going to go for the a high break on PXD. So if we push 237, we say 237, let's just go 237.27. We go 237.27. I'll be looking at PXD calls to go ahead and start making our move back up and take out all these higher wicks that we have, right? Forming a PMG. Now, Verizon, swing opportunity on Verizon to the downside, all right? So with Verizon, what I'm gonna be looking at after we've had this huge sell-off is gonna be the opportunity for us to continue selling off and just continue going into this no man's land, if you will, down below. Okay, so let's pull up a monthly chart so we can get some potential triggers for our exit. And we see we have an opportunity here. And then after that, we can break down even further. Okay, so Verizon is one I shared with my team in the Discord last week. Uh, and we're looking at continuation to keep dropping. And our first target again is about that 40, 50 level. And then we can continue down to 37. So if we break this previous low over here, which is 40, 51, we break 4050 and we can close on a day um, below 4050 is likely that we'll be able to see a continuation down even further to that 38 area. All right. Roku. Let me go ahead and switch over to the daily as well for Roku. Let me give that a chance to pull up on the screen. Well, for Roku. Uh, I'm looking at it two different ways. So we had an inside day form on Roku, which is because the candle for today's price action is completely inside yesterday's, right? The high is lower than yesterday's, the low is high. So we have an inside day candle coming in right at this support level here. All right, so we have an inside day forming as support. And with this inside day forming as support, we're looking at this potential bounce to continue back up to the about 69. Um, that could be our target for Roku. So once we break above this high, I'm looking at it's continuing up to retest the high. This candle is 69.06. So I'll set my alert for 66. All right, and that'll be my trigger for Roku calls take it up. If we do go to the opposite way, we can also look at puts as we will be breaking down through this demand zone or through the supply area, 
And so I'm actually use this level over here with the lowest 62. And so I'll set 61.95 to be my trigger to look at puts for Roku. Okay, and as always, these alerts will go off and I will still come back and look at the chart to see what's happening. I'll still even drill down and go into a deeper, uh, lower level time frame where I have a daily trigger, but I'll look at the 30 minute or the five minute so I can make sure my entry is more precise. And then lastly, um, FedEx, we see that we have this big demands on here, right? And that's shown because every time we've come down here, uh, as of late, we've gotten buying, 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 right? So tons of buys, buyers coming in, pushing the stock back up. Same thing here, pushing it back up. We had this huge gap, right? Last time we shot up here, and now we're retesting that level again, right? So that's what we're looking at for FedEx to take calls above 202.47 will be what I'm looking at on FedEx. And I'll set that out. And I'll be looking at swinging FedEx calls. And we have a lot of potential to the upside here. Um, just using targets along the way, being highs of previous candles. So being able to go ahead and target this level, target here as well, and target here on the way up. So at FedEx, if we push up above this high, we have earnings on the 22nd. So what I would be looking at doing is just swinging a call, pretty much uh, getting out of that position right before earnings. So getting out, you know, maybe two days before or two trading days before earnings so that I'm not going into earnings with this position. And that's it. So if you have any questions, if you want to learn more, hop in the Discord. And we're always happy to help. And I hope you enjoyed the video.